good morning. Ah, I just woke up. I parked in this parking lot last night. Uh, I think I said, I think I recorded a video last night before I went to sleep. And I woke up to the sun. It's blaring. There's no, well, there's some clouds, but not many. Um, I'm going to pull these solar panels out right now. Um, there's a bunch of wind outside. It's pretty strong. So excuse me because I'm really just literally woken up and I'm super tired. So probably don't look or sound very handsome right now. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna I park the nose of the van into the wind, and I'm gonna see if that uh, helps. I don't really want to lose some solar panels to the wind right now. So anyway, I'm gonna pull these solar panels out, and I am gonna see how they go. <laughs> So that is how you set up a solar electric camper van for a morning charge. It's pretty cold out here actually, I had to put a sweater on or a jumper on in between setting those things up and that's a good little morning ritual. Feeling alive, actually I might go back to sleep because I'm pretty tired still. What I am worried about is all these clouds hanging around. There's that big one hanging on top of that mountain there that I think may come over top of us at some point in time. But hopefully we don't get smashed by any clouds back here. Look at that beast. Second sun charge. Woo! Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can get today. Okay, so <clears throat> after I finished setting up the solar panels there, decided to lay down and rest my eyes for a second and I fell asleep until like 11ish. So guess I'm really tired. The van's been charging since and our battery status indicator has popped up to medium charge. So what I decided is I'm gonna cook breakfast, chuck the van on charge and see how much charge I can pull from my secondary battery. But right now we're pulling close to three kilowatts of, of power. I'm gonna zoom in there and see if you can see. 2.7 with an average of 3.4 kilowatt. We have 3.4 kilowatt hours of energy coming into the battery there. I need probably another maybe 30 kilowatts to get to my next destination. I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, but um, God, this this camera is playing up. So the whole, yeah, that whole equation is pretty hard to juggle around right now. I need to go about another 37 miles, which means I need a bit, probably between a quarter and half a tank of uh, electricity. So um, it sounds so funny talking about tanks of electricity, but uh, that's what we're dealing with here. I am going to cook some breakfast um, and I'm gonna explain to you what's going on there because that's really funny as well. And then I will put the van on charge and see if I can't put some of that energy into my drivetrain battery. So I bought uh, this Aventi induction cooktop heater. Kira Beelan was kind enough to set me up with a bunch of pots and pans. And I remember thinking, oh, don't you have to have specific pans for these cooktops? And she said, no, 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 it's going to be fine. So, yeah, I tried to put the pans on and I got this code and I read the manual and the manual says, you need to use specific pans. Put a magnet on the bottom of the pan and if, if it's magnetic, it'll work. And if it's not magnetic, then it won't work. So I did and none of my pans are magnetic. However, I do have stainless steel plates and bowls. And now they're not the most magnetic uh, things either, but they work. I just tried one before and it got scorching hot instantly. So I'm gonna try cook myself some pancakes here. I have a bunch of crusties pants pancake buttermilk mix. All right, so here's my attempt at making pancakes. Um, they're not really the most beautiful pancakes, but. I reckon it's going to taste delicious. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope my cooking gets better over this trip. Mmm. <laughs> Fucked up. Krusty's pancakes with peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter. Nom, 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 nom. So a quick update. I've been sitting here all day working on video projects. We're still pulling in some sun. Um, there were some really black ominous clouds coming over just before and I was worried about that. I'm going to get out of the wind here because 
that's probably gonna... Anyway, the black ominous clouds, I'll show you through my big windshield here. They seem to be hitting the uh, mountains and, and rolling over the mountains and uh, staying away from us, which is good. We did have about half a day's worth of sun there because the clouds are sort of off and on here. So anyway, we're still pulling over uh, two, a bit over two kilowatts of power. 2,600 kilowatts. Oh, watts. Keep saying kilowatts. But anyway, there you go. See the clouds roll over and it drops right down. It's not a super clear day today, so yeah. Um, anyway, we are hitting over the quarter charge mark. I'd like to see the charge get to a bit more like up here before I take off to make my 37 miles or however many kilometers it is that I have to go but yeah um, we're getting up there I don't know how close I'm gonna get to that point and I think if I don't today I'll probably start driving and hopefully the answer will pop up to me I think this location the location that we're in right now is not um, really conducive to getting a good charge with all these mount, uh, all these clouds rolling over us. But I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe down the road's worse. So it's really hard to make those decisions on the fly. Um, I really have no idea what I'm doing. No one's written this book before, so I'm writing it. Um, yeah, it's been a long day and I'm still still doing whatever it is that I'm doing, sitting here waiting for the sun to charge my batteries. So, um, cool. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll update you when I get on the road, when I tuck this thing away, or when I start moving or do something next. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing right now. Um, we just got smashed by a bunch of rain. I had to pack up, uh, that solar array in the rain. It was actually one of the more difficult times that I've ever had to pack up that array. You really, really have to be patient when you're putting that thing away, because if you're not, things get jammed and it becomes almost impossible to uh, write and make it correct again. So I packed it up and I got in without getting too wet. I only got a few sprinkles on me, so that's good. I'm gonna just start driving and see where the hell I end up. Hopefully, um, I end up in a place close enough to Haynes Junction where I know I can get a charge from either an RV spot or uh, my friend who I met the other day. I am, I'm gonna go. I think I've got a little bit over a quarter of a tank. I need to go 37 miles and I really highly doubt that I'm gonna make that distance. So I could be a side of the road stowaway any, you know, in about an hour or so. so. I'm going to take it real slow, I'm going to try and preserve the uh, the electricity, and that's all I can do. So bear with me, and I will update you whenever that is done. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why I'm smiling. Kind of good news and bad news. Um, good news is I made it to Haynes Junction. Bad news is my cell phone still doesn't have service i don't know why that is maybe it's something to do with canada and the us not having cell connection i don't know i've got to sort that out uh so i decided i'd come to a campground and try and get a charge through the campground so i paid the guy went in and they only have 30 amp 110 outlets so I can't get a charge because me and Brett had this problem already. Um, for some reason, the frequency, it should be 60 hertz. We're getting nothing. We're getting no frequency whatsoever through the uh, the campgrounds here. So I have to do some research, and I can't do any research because I don't have a phone that works. And But the good news is, on a rainy, cloudy, intermittent, sunshiny day... I still did nearly 40 miles um, just off the sun's energy. So if there's one thing to look up to or to be happy about, that's probably it. Other than that, I'm going to sleep because I am so tired and uh, yeah, just a little bit anxious here because I need to get a charge and I need to keep moving northward if I'm going to be able to achieve this thing. 
Um, potentially I turn around and I head south from here. Um, I get into contact with a few people and solve a few problems. Um, this is the first time I'm saying this out loud even though it's just me and I'm the only one talking to me. Um, I think that's a big deal. I kind of really want to get up to the Arctic Circle. I think that would be such a, an epic statement uh, to make in this vehicle. Um, but after today's weather, it kind of scared me a little bit into thinking maybe that's not such a good idea. Excuse me. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Um, getting stuck in the Arctic Circle when it starts raining and for weeks at a time potentially you know might not work for us but anyway I said I was going to go to sleep about two minutes ago uh, about a, 30 seconds ago a minute ago whatever however long ago I said I was going to go to sleep so now I'm going to actually go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and sort this charging situation out um, got a smile all right i'm going to bed good night